The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. All right, guys, before we even get into today's video, you guys have always been asking this age old question. And yeah, I think it's about time we talk about it or we, you know, speak about. Yeah, I'm going to tell you guys in detail. Jesus is going to tell you guys in detail. But here's the thing. We started a brand new channel called Jibby. And Jilly said that we need to release the first video only if we get to... A thousand subscribers. Yeah. So. so the link is going to be in the description box. It's going to be also the pinned comment in the comment section so you guys can go check it out. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. You have you to subscribe. Get it to a thousand yeah. subscribers and then, yeah. We can tell them everything that you guys really want to know. So, yeah, click the link and hit subscribe. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. So, I did mention in the last video mm, the garlic butter lobster video. If you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. That Kurt and Jilly are going to be whipping up some kebabs. There's going to be some beef and shrimp kebabs. I can tell it's gonna be delicious because there's pineapples on it. All right, so they're gonna start the prepping right now and get right into it. All right, so we got some steak actually from some sirloin steak from Aldi's. Shout out to Aldi's, really, really good meat. Black Angus, right? Oh, Black Angus. Oh, nice, that's the good stuff. All right, so how many pieces are we gonna put? Just one or is there more? We're gonna cube it up and put it on about two pieces on each. Come on. Okay, oh, Jilly got some too. All right, so. Jilly's over here and also got some Angus beef that's on there. Ooh, looks good. And why do we shop at Aldi's? Because it's organic meat, it's um, good quality and good price. Vibes. Vibes. It's actually the same steak that we had in the ramen yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. It was really good. Put on some more. All right, Kurt, explain to me your marinade. You say you're going to do a marinade for the beef. What are you going to put in it? I'm just going to season it with um, salt and pepper. We don't have no salt, right? Uh -uh. Garlic powder. Soy sauce. Just gonna keep it basic. Okay, cool. Sounds pretty good. And of course, we're cleaning the meat. season the shrimp mm -hmm. the shrimp was good too yeah because the time we did that um risotto yes that wasn't filmed at all but we i was experimenting on how to do it because my first risotto ever and that shrimp was on Publix, yeah yes it was Publix. pretty good on sale. clean mm -hmm. so you're just using salt black pepper garlic powder yeah shrimp or it has its natural flavor and I'm actually putting just for the marinade part some real minced garlic got you so on soy vlogs 
is the first time you ever cooked outdoors, except from the backyard grill thing. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> I saw you on the grill mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibes. All right, those shrimp look good. They look real good. Uh -huh. So what's going to be the technique to, because you're cooking two different meat kinds and they all cook differently. Shrimp yeah. cooks really quick, beef yeah. a little bit harder to cook. What's right. the technique behind that? Well, we're just going to keep that grill up high. Uh huh. So it's uh, a little heat so the steak can cook first. Got you. And this will come through at the end. See that, that fly trying to get in this bag? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and beans over here cutting up sweet peppers, red and yellow. What's your technique in cutting up these sweet peppers? <laughs> There's none. <laughs> Uniform size. Yeah. <laughs> Uniform size. What she's doing? She's. They are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Look at that. So I heard Julie just now asking about um, mixing the kebabs. I mean, that would have been a technique too. When you said mix the kebabs, did you mean like straight and a beef kebab? Oh, I. I always thought we we're just gonna mix it, chicken and shrimp. No. Okay. I'm just a If you think there's an issue with cooking time, then yeah, you could do separate. Yeah, today it's all on you. you both of y'all. No, both no, of you guys. I don't want to tell Carson me, I do. Carter's hmm? in, in charge today. Hmm. <laughs> Remember, I'm new to the outdoor thing, so oh. you still got to guide. Hmm. <laughs> Personally, I would pre cook the beef before I mix the shrimp, but. So here's what we do then. Let's make this interesting. Keep it separate. Jilly would do the kebabs, her technique. No. You and will. you can do it your way. Because I want to see how the flavors are going to come through differently. It's not a challenge. I, it's actually just for experimentation. I want to see which, which way actually works best. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, silence. <laughs> Yo, you guys. <laughs> I, I don't know how you guys said you wanted to do chopped. <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to soak these kebabs in water so that they don't burn when they're on the grill. Okay. All right. Let me say a big shout out to Beans and Kurt for taking over the cooking today because it means that I can work on two videos simultaneously. Yeah, that's, that's a vibe. A vibe. <laughs> that's a vibe. I'm curious to know, what is it that you're going to use to like, um, like what's going to be the combining flavors for everything like on the kebab? Like, or is everything going to have like separate flavors as you bite? Well, we're going to base it with barbecue sauce. That's so what I wanted to know. That's going to... Um, finish off everything and it'll caramelize on the meat and the veggies and the onions and stuff. My veggies. And then it'll be good. Vibes. So you seem to have um, a lot of knowledge in doing kebabs that you've done it before. I've heard I've heard you say you did it for like a Christmas dinner or whatever the case is. What kebabs do you normally go for? Like what's the go to kebabs? Shrimp, chicken. Shrimp and, and, and chicken. On beef yeah. Okay. Not Most of the time I've done chicken and shrimp. Gotcha. But I have done beef also. I hope it's sweet. No, it's okay. <laughs> this is the worst part. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. And if you cut it deep, you waste. waste mm -hmm. Well, I normally use it to make juice. Boil the skin. Oh. So I really waste. Gotcha. Oh. It's like she did a magic trick. <laughs> ja -ja. So do you normally take the center part out? Mm -hmm. You do? I don't eat that part. You eat it? Me? I eat everything. It's a good rough food. Why isn't that going on? I think what we really want to know is, is it sweet? Exactly. Kurt, that's how we eat now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's give him the center part to try. <laughs> no. But it's sweet. It's sweet? Mm -hmm. 
You want to this way? Well, you're gonna cut out this part, right? Yeah, but it. <laughs> we had stage. Yeah, we're all right. So we're building our kebabs. We'll do it whichever way you like it. So I heard you saying something, Jilly, about um, just the where you put what. It's like building a burger. We're building a burger. There's a technique to it. What about the kebab? Um, just keep everything as uniform as you can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, see I'm doing like onion, piece of fruit, meat, green peppers. They separate in between the, the proteins. Okay. Yeah. Put the shrimp there now. Get him out of here. God sending on his rays. <laughs> oh, look at that. On your kebabs, bruh. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's been overcast all day long. Yeah, power bank, we'll get some. Mm hmm. I say no to the boss, a star and I'm gonna have all in glasses on for your neck, you know? Might you drop another fire? Hold on, good man. Oh, these are good. I like the purple on it. Like purple onion? Yeah, it's good. We got quite a bit out of it. This is a belly full, you know? Beautiful. That's beautiful. This one. Okay. Okay, could I put them across the stick there for sure? Yeah. After this we have cooked then you can drop it and stir it up. Is it like a good amount of heat? We have very delighted from cooking apparatus. A little tripod. Have you seen the um, the new search engine in Safari? How they change it up? No. Yeah, the whole search the search bar is at the bottom now. Mm -hmm. The pineapple just and the green and the red, right? <laughs> it's a beautiful color, especially the purple and pops. Yeah. Because it's not really a natural occurring color in nature. I mean, it's natural, but not. It's weird for foods. I'm gonna buy a purple cabbage. Grapes, <laughs> you know. Put 
turn, turn one, then stop. You can go lower. Ah, it feels good to just relax <laughs> and just capture the moments, man. We can't wait to soon up on chopped. Chop? Yeah. Just don't bring me no escargot <laughs> and no nasty looking stuff. That's the fun part. No, that's that, 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 that's the fun part. That's, no, that's... Well... <laughs> we, we, that's the fun part. People have to have the opp like equal opportunities. So the stuff that they're good at, stuff that you're bad at. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I'm bad at something, it's just that yeah. I ain't touching those things. <laughs> No, I was dating this girl and she wanted this black American girl and she wanted um, chicken gizzards. I'm like, chicken who? <laughs> and I did them. I pressured them and made them brown stew and she loved pressure? it. Pressure? Yeah, the pressure is. Well, they look, my mom told me they might be tough, so oh. I, I pressured <laughs> them and brown stew them and she was licking off her fingers. But I never tasted it when I was cooking it. I'm excited about this, you know, because that's going to that's be lit. <laughs> Oh, for those who don't know, jump over to Soy Sauce. That's the next channel. We're going to be working on a bunch of content, Beans, Sarah, and I. And, of course, Kurt's going to pop in whenever he's in Jamaica or You're in the U.S. In the US. All, right. All right, you guys might have to go check on it real quick because I see the shrimp kind of pinking up. Is it something that you turn multiple times? Multiple times? Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. I think you guys should turn it. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See that steak cooking up? There we go. I chew a stop chat, you know. <laughs> this man sleepy head. He a bun up a pot. <laughs> Chop a sleep up a pot. Pot good, man. People that I think of Stephen never happened to me ever. I, I was literally trying to think if it's ever happened to me, no, as in falling asleep. Stop the crazy. Never happened to me. Jilly's gone for a second, so I'm gonna help on the turning. Yeah. Mm -mm. You did I come wish I made it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got three. Yeah. <laughs> you said that you wanna do that part. Okay. Okay, so tell us about the sauce, what's in it? A sweet baby rays, and the one we're using is sweet and spicy. Okay. And we added some of the pineapple juice and crushed pineapple from the, um, the pineapple that Julie cut up. Sweet baby rays. Don't be surprised if one of your friends say again, Kurt, is this somebody look like you out of my YouTube? You know? I know. That's the funniest thing ever. <laughs>
Oh, my foot fell out. <laughs> yeah, add more sauce. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I want the sauce part to get the flames. Mm -hmm. So you want us to finish over now? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you talking about the fly? Yeah. <laughs> oh, loud. Rockabye Baby Rays. <laughs> Beans are charcoal, them up nice though. Mm, that looks good. That looks like New York when you get to the shish kebab. Mm -hmm. Shish kebab man, look at so much tap, so much tap in there. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, this wind came in from nowhere and it sounds like a, a hurricane in between these trees. And as quick as it came, it's gone. Yeah, it came like a couple seconds. Well, anyway, Kurt's about to um, saute up some shrimp. Oh, it's back. I'm mean, funny time, because we know you're supposed to be heading out here at 6. Mm. Okay, 5.15, you're good. Because I mean, it, looks, it looks mad dark. It looks mad dark, darker than yesterday. Why? I mean, I don't have to, but, you know. I know the road now, so it's, it's okay. Hold on, I think I have to drop this a little bit lower for you. Drop it or more heat or something. It's good, man. That's a lot of heat there. Nice. Waste nothing. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, it sounds like a storm. Like you can feel like the atmospheric drop and then those winds just came out of nowhere. And then our neighbor who was also camping as well. Um, yeah, he warned us about that. So, whoa. This is kind of cool. <laughs> You know what, here's what I'm gonna do. So I know you probably don't feel you're getting the right amount of heat. Table. Sure. All right, you should be getting that hot, 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 hot. You, you don't look like you're comfortable. You comfortable? Yeah, I do. All right. <laughs> so I'm only doing this. Oh my God. I told Kurt, she goes, are you recording? And I'm like, no. I was like, yo, I don't have to make people see that all the time. He was like, no, nah, man. What you say, man? Show me a master bush chef. <laughs> all right, I think this is done, right? It's done. It's done. All right, we good. Turn off the fire. <laughs> Scatter shrimp. I'll take two. Mm -mm. They look glassy. Eating good. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So I stole one of the shrimps. Really good. Not overdone. You don't eat vegetables, huh? No, just the shrimp. Okay. Gotta pick up that piece of time. Mm hmm. This look good. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Alright, guys. So, I never got the chance to really show us eating the food or whatever the case is, but it was really good. Um, my only takeaway from it if I'm to do a kebab, I would do the shrimp separate and the beef separate because the cooking times are a little bit different. But apart from that, them sauteed shrimp were busting curd and just the sauce and everything, really, really nice dish. But anyway, as I said, there is like a, well, we don't know if there's a storm that's going to happen, but yeah, we're just gonna chill out a little bit, talk, whatever, catch up. Oh, and Jilly's gonna make, what are you making again? Um, sweet corn. Sweet corn, cream style sweet corn. With corn. Cream style sweet corn, that's sweet corn with condensed milk? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna have some of that. Anyway. Shout out to Kurt for popping in in our video today again because I don't know Kurt ever come for the food. Right. And um, shout out to Jilly, of course, she's always here with me. Remember these three things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember to keep the link. All right, so we're walking out Kurt on <laughs> all of this storm. In the storm. Oh yeah. Well. Not really that heavy right now, but. Alright. So 9 a.m. again tomorrow? Yep. Yes, sir. Alright, brother. Bless up. Bless up.